Welcome everybody, my name is Misty Slash Conexia, and today I'm with extra cast of... Ooh, yes! Yeah! And it's Valentine's Day, yeah, if you're watching it as it's being uploaded. And we decided what'd be the best thing to do than me being with my basic white girl, homie. Wife. Yeah, and uh, drinking her Tim Hortons pumpkin spice? No, just sprint vanilla. There you go. So, um, if you're brand new to the 5 anime of the day, we pick four entry at random on randomanime.org and it is going to be mecha theme because we decided you know what i don't i don't we already did romance a little while back and uh she, she doesn't know many animes but she knows about mecha more than i do so when it comes to the topic she's my go-getter mm -hmm. so uh we're gonna pick four entry at random i picked the fifth one well She's gonna pick it today because hey, she, she knows it better than I do. Uh huh. And uh, we, we'll take it from there. So you ready? Uh huh. You wanna click it? Bring us good luck. It, small girl. There you go. You got it. There you go. Entry number one is gonna be one of the finest. Oh, cool. Knights of Sidonia. That's a really nice one. You like it? Yeah, Netflix exclusive. It, it, it is. <laughs> but, but they're not sponsoring us, so uh, we're, we're gonna. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored by Netflix. <laughs> Um, so here's a clip! Entry number one, Knights of Sidonia. One thing that really drew me in when I watched Knights of Sidonia was the 3D CGI visuals. They weren't quite popular back then, but now I really find them pretty. If you've seen Ruby or Ajin, you can tell it came a long way. Story-wise, Knights of Sidonia is about Earth being destroyed by an alien race. Some people escape on the mothership Sidonia, and they have to defend themselves from the pursuing aliens. That's when the Mega kicks in. I think because the whole show is in 3D, when it comes to the robots being in CGI as well, it doesn't clash as much. The story wraps itself in 24 episodes, so if you'd like to allow it a weekend, I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10. How'd I do, Daddy? Was I any good? They sucked. So what'd you think about Knights of Sidonia? Is it the best show ever? Best show ever. So, how about I pick the next one and see if we bring any luck to this? Bring us luck, something good. Something good? You got it. Captain Earth. <laughs> you know what? I'm okay with that one. I, I, think, I think it's good. Um, it's not really... It's, 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 it's not that good, but it's, it's decent. Yo, as far as Mecha goes, I mean... Here's a clip! <laughs> Entry number two, Captain Earth. I think Captain Earth suffers from having a good first few episodes and then it fails to deliver on the rest, which is why I remember it to be not as bad as the rating seems to recommend, but yeah, it goes downhill quite fast after the first five episodes. This anime was made by Bone Studio, the same one who did Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood or Soul Eater. So you know the visuals are top notch, but I can't say quite the same about the soundtrack. I'm usually pretty appreciative of the music and the ambience building, this time everything felt flat and annoying. The jokes are gonna be a hit or miss in the best case scenario, and some characters really turn bland and noxious really fast. I'll give it a 6, and if you want to check it out for yourself, you can go on crunchroll.com slash misty. They do have all the episodes in HD, so that's something to be worth your time. <laughs> Alright, entry number 3! Uh, you want to pick it with me? Both well, at gonna... the same time. Yeah, you ready? Click on it. There uh, you go. Such sinking. <laughs> Watch this being. Oh, oh shit! That's a classic. Neon Genesis Evangelion. Um, I like the movies better. The remake they did, the reboot. It looks, it looks fancier. It looks fancier and it's less drama. More... <laughs> there, there's still a lot of it, but uh, I mean, it's more condensed, so it doesn't sound as whiny as. Yeah, and the ending the... is better. We don't, we don't talk about the ending. <laughs> so, so take it away. Here's a clip! No, no, you gotta do it faster. Like, here's a clip! Here's a clip! Here's a clip! Here's a clip! Here's a clip. <laughs> <laughs> 
顔巨大ロボット Entry number three Neon Genesis Evangelion. When it comes to Evangelion, there's both the classic Neon Genesis or the reboot they did, Evangelion 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0. The fourth and final movie has yet to be made, but you can still experience the franchise with the first three available. The story is about an organization who tries to defend the planet from angels. The organization finds pilots compatible with Evangelions, giant mechas, and they fight against those creatures. The original version came out in the mid 90s, and the ending was quite chaotic. I really like the production value in the movies over the original one, but whichever you pick, I'm sure you'll agree it's worth a solid 9 out of 10. Yeah? Pick another one? Picking it. Pick a, pick a better Picking one. Picking it. Pick a better one. A low a zero. Alright. I can settle for that. Yeah. It's a, it's a good one. Yeah, you like it? I think so. <laughs> What do you mean you think so? You saw it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's. The second season is. Eh, but the、uh, first one got very far. You know what? This is a fucking clip. Enjoy! Fire control. Damper. Damper. Entry number four All Noah Zero. All Noah Zero isn't much of a mecha anime rather than an anime with mechas in them. The core focus of the show is about a war breaking out between Mars and Earth.、Uh, but I should probably explain that bit first though.、Uh, so hear me out. On the moon, there's an hypergate. It links to Mars where people found secret technology. Some people stayed on Mars and the others, well, they, they came back. But it made a pretty hostile environment and they fought on the moon. They busted the gate, the, the hypergate, and then they were forced into peace because they couldn't meet each other. 15 years later, a Mars princess wishes to repair the relationship between Earth and Mars, but there's an assassination plan against her, and then the wound just reopened between the two nations. It's a really creative anime with a solid first season that I recommend to anyone with an appeal for space, action, and sci fi. I'll give it an 8 out of 10, and you can check it out on Crunchyroll too! Osore Nagara, Shodai Pass Cotega, Ardonano, Ico, Kitsi, the Yori, Varela, the Cocono Siminwa, Chikuni, no Cotta. So that was four entry, and now we pick the personal recommendation, which is gonna be. Erika Seven! Yeah, that one's really good.、Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's a story about a guy that、uh, wants to pilot stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I've seen it like when it came out.、So、in、uh, 2005. Yeah. It's been a while, but it's really good. Yeah,、uh, if you like romance in your anime as well, it's something that's, that may not be the main plot, but it's still a sub sequential With thing. Some action, mecha. It's、yeah. really fun to watch. Yeah, even if you don't like mecha,、uh, it is a show that is just a, a good watch.、Mm-hmm. So, here's a clip. Here's a clip. Here's a clip. Here's a clip. ノリノリじゃねえの。浮かれすぎてると LFO の電池切れちまうぜ、ホランド。ああ、無線のメラ。それぐらいは。And finally, entry number five, Misty's. I mean, Jess's choice. Eureka Seven. That's my choice. The anime is about a boy named Ranton who dreams of adventure, but is stuck being a mechanic with his grandfather in his garage. Sulking his days away, Ranton waits until something exciting comes along. And that's when Eureka. A girl who pilots a robot crashes in his garage. She asks for a tune up, and well, events happen, and Ranton is sucked in her shenanigans. If you enjoy Guilty Crown or Gurren Lagan, there's no way you won't have a blast with this one too. I'll give it a 9 out of 10, because they did an extra 24 episodes that I didn't like very much. So that's why there's only 50 episodes. It's where you should stop. <laughs> So there you have it, five anime of today. Today's theme was Mecha. Hope you found something you like in there. And if you did, please leave a thumb up. It helps us a lot. And you can also subscribe if you'd like to see more. Tomorrow we will do another one. If you missed yesterday, you can、uh, check it out. Yeah, it's gonna be at the end card. You know, the, the one with the cool theme song that you guys love to hear, but you never know where it's from. It's, it's from my anime. Remember my anime? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're working on it. It's, it's Slowly. Coming, it's coming out. There's gonna be more stuff. It's, it just takes time. So,、um, I hope you guys had a good time. I wish you a. Happy Valentine's Day! Yeah. 
And we are gonna go and celebrate. Are we? Uh huh. Yeah. Right, First yeah. Valentine's Day as a married couple. It is, huh? Oh. And last one, that's just the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> so. Are you okay? I hope you guys have a fantastic day. If you're with somebody else, tell her you love her. Or to him. Or him. Or hit. Yep. I don't know. I don't judge. Bestiality. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, if you're single, well, you can maybe sulk your feelings in those, no. in, in those mecha anime that we promoted. <laughs> have fun with friends. If you have no friends, then uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Here's a hug. She's bad at this. Anyhow, uh, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Here's an end clip.